Welcome everyone to your spiritual reading for April. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, this month we are going to do the four tips to tap in and strengthen your intuition. Okay, so getting straight into this. First of all, um, you know, we always talk about having the key to open the door. This is where your door to open is coming through. So here we go. So just off, the, you know, off the bat over here, just for those of you who are not sure what intuition really is, I get a few messages here and there saying they don't understand certain things. Just remember that the intuition is the message that your feelings are trying to send to your mind, right? It's kind of a symbolic message. You can kind of see it as like hieroglyph, uh, hieroglyphics. Um, and then it's going to hit your intuition. And then your intuition is going to pull that together and say, oh, okay, I understand what's going on. So it's really tapping into that and allowing you to understand what is going on and what your feelings are really trying to say to you. Um, so going straight over here up on the wall, guys, on the chakra mat, we have the we have the root chakra over here. This root chakra is where it all begins, right? This is where all of the, all of it all begins. The instincts, natural instincts. From your root chakra, it has the ability to sense the danger and then giving the fight or flight or that tummy ache, right? So it's going to go right up. But it has to hit the emotions first, right? So as soon as you feel danger or you feel happiness or you feel whatever the feeling is, it then senses it through the heart chakra and then it sends this sensation. Now, how are you going to, you know, really get that, that feeling? Well, that's where you feel it in your stomach and you're kind of like, I got a tummy ache, right? And then it's trying to give you a forewarning all the way up to your intuition to which it then can see clearly the answer. So therefore, the key is within the instincts and then the door, it's going straight to the third eye, straight to the crown chakra, which is the door. And then once that door really pops open, you'll be able to see super clearly within your intuition what the answer is you are seeking. What is it? Why do I feel this way? Okay. So it's just really getting that intuition open to really hear the message that your emotions are trying to tell you. Okay. So going straight over here, we're going to I think we're going to start this way. That way my arms don't really 100% get in the way. So going straight over here, we have the Daniki of the infinite light. Ooh. So what is she telling us about our intuition? She's literally telling us about our intuition is kind of looking back through your life and trying to find those moments that you've had, you know, trying to see what it is that you really need to see clearly literally getting into that other place, into the light, into the intuition, really trying to open that up. It's now a time to kind of sit still, relax and listen, right? Meditate. Okay. So the next card coming out is the perfume of Sophia. And this is where we're really going to take it to the next level. And you know, this is where we're going to say, okay, well, tip number two is going to be allowing to understand the meditation will allow you to open up, allow you to see what you need to see, really staying relaxed, really preparing your mind, um, really, you know, reflecting upon the situation so that you can be able to hear, right? And you can be able to see, allowing those symbols to really hit the, um, those symbols of language of emotion to really hit the third eye so that it really can open up so you can have a better understanding. It's kind of when the light bulb goes off and you're like, aha! I know the answer, but sometimes you don't know where the answer came from, or some of you might even hear it or see an image, however it is. The sun. Nice. Okay, so the, the sun over here is saying, let's look for inner guidance and inner help. If you want to ask for inner help, ask your higher self, ask the guidance of spirit to help you see help you know the answers. So this is actually, you know, taking a little downtime from your subconscious and allowing yourself to, you know, really come up with the answer. Um, as we're always so busy in, in life, it's kind of like, whoa, you know, I need a little downtime. Sometimes it's better, it allows that subconscious to rest. And then the beta of the spirit is having that come through. 
knowing the answer, knowing what is really going on, feeling the spirit around you, really seeing the answer. Now you see he sees the answer within his mind. He knows. Now it's just the waiting game, waiting for it to all come together and then hearing that pop, right? What is that physical, you know, uh, answer that you're looking for? You know, it's almost like the spirit of the wolf is saying, if this whole situation gives you some kind of fear or dread from the very beginning, let's pay attention to what those red flags really are. Let's really dig deep so we can find the answers. If it really makes you feel lighthearted and happy, then you know that's the answer. So a lot of times they might not even come through um, as just, you know, it's kind of like that thought, once again, that emotion put into thought gives you an, an, a different emotion, the emotion of fear or happiness, right? And then you know that's the answer. So let's go over here to Dinky over here. And you know you're going to want to pay attention to the warning signs here too. So there's a lot of paying attention to warning signs when it comes to the intuition because the intuition knows, right? So it's definitely paying a lot of attention to warning signs and red flags and happy signs. Yeah. First, under Divinky says you need to clear the way, clear your mind. Do not allow the kind of the monkey mind to get in the way of what you're looking for, right? You really need to keep yourself calm and cool and really get your mind right, to a better place. Um, the first thing is really looking at the warning signs. So I always say go back into the past and see what was it that you did, you know, it's kind of a um, kind of a little learning thing you can do. You can write them down if you'd like to, but you could say, what was it in the past that I had that I knew I was right? Darn it, I knew it. Whether it was a good thing happening to you or a bad thing happening to you, right? Write it down because that was your gut feeling. That was your intuition. That was it right then and there. And then you can kind of even put the emotions if you remember the emotion that you had towards that. If it was a bad thing, you said, I knew I shouldn't have done that because everybody got into trouble. I knew it, right? Um, or if it was one of those things you did take action against your intuition, you could say, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I had fear and dread that that was going to happen. I knew I shouldn't have trusted that person or that situation, right? So however it is, but take the emotion because it all comes from the emotion that you're feeling first. That's what gives us the tummy ache, right? <clears throat> okay, so over here on the, the um, perfume of Sophia, it's saying, you know, hey, you know what? This is where I want you, you know, to really ask for help and ask for the guidance and look and see what's going on within yourself. Um, you know, really knowing the answers to the situation. Meditation will allow you to open up, and there's your meditation. The Buddha prepares. The Buddha prepares. He's saying, I want you to meditate upon the situation and then allow yourself to open up to hear what everything is going on, right? But remember, it's going to be hard to hear because you have all the stress of the day. You have, you know, all the to-dos on your mind. So you're going to have to put yourself into some kind of place where you can be able to relax, reflect, and listen. Really get yourself down to meditation. Really opening up your psyche. Look at that. I love that. The Oracle of Delphi coming out saying, I want you to tap into your, your psyche. Your intuition is a part of your psyche. This is your third eye, your crown chakra. Really tapping into that. This is where it all begins. Allowing yourself to um, go into kind of a uh, meditation is sometimes kind of a trance for some people. Some people call it the trance, a trance kind of like state, a, a place of, um, it's almost sometimes feels like a nothingness in its own way. So it's just kind of providing you this place to where you just relax. You're letting go. You know, don't tell yourself, though, I'm letting go. I don't want to do that. Don't do that because you're thinking too much about it, which means then you're overthinking the process, right? Because then you're telling yourself, well, now I'm just sitting over here telling myself what not to do instead of actually doing it, right? So we don't want to do that. Okay, so but really feeling like you're really doing what you're supposed to be doing um, and really touching and tapping into that psyche, really tapping into that higher self. So let's go to the sun over here. 
we don't want too many cards on that and wants to keep continuing to go that way. We don't need that. So over here on this sun, the sun is saying it's lighting the world. Now this is where you're actually, you know, getting into the idea. So step three is if you're having a rough time or maybe you just want extra guidance and help, it says tap into the light of the world, into your your spirit, your spirit guides. And that's what the sun is saying too. For high, higher guidance, you know, the key will be there, right? The key, once again, right? We said the compassion, the feelings to open the door to intuition so that that way the intuition can what? Give you the answer, the clarity, the understanding. So sit still and be able to listen to yourself and give yourself some downtime from your subconscious, okay? To rest and recharge. It may not happen immediately, but sometimes during this time, you can be able to find the answers within. That can come. Sometimes you can do it after a nap. Sometimes it's during a nap. Once you're kind of rested, right? It just pops out of nowhere. Kind of that aha moment. Aha. It said not to do that. I felt it. It told me not to do that. Do not allow confusion and chaos. You can ask the angels for help. For we got the Archangel um, Gabriel coming through as signs and symbols and messages. So allowing the angels and the spirit guides and, and you know, whoever, whatever it is to you, my friends, whatever spirit and divine is to you, um, not everybody's is the same, um, but it's all coming from the same place of the creation, right, of, of a higher positive um, area within energy within the world. Um, but really waiting for those messages is what it's talking about. It's talking about waiting for the message to be delivered. So that's pretty much tip number three is just waiting now, asking for guidance and waiting. So the beta of the spirit of the wolf, once again, is also talking about the angels coming through, your higher self coming through, your higher conscious coming through um, with the answer. Now it's saying the spirit of the wolf has the answer for you. Right. If you feel like there's any kind of red signs within that and it's making your stomach really hurt from the answer, then you know that's probably a bad thing. You don't want to do that. If you're getting the clarity, the understanding, and the kind of whisper within your mind, 22, that's angel answers. Right. Patiently waiting for the angel to answer, for your higher self, your subconscious to answer, your intuition to answer the question. If it's feeling very light and very positive and very good, then you know it's a good thing. It's going to be a, a huge waiting game, though, of course. The will, wisdom, and mind. Because it has to bring the three powerful three of yourself together, right? The will, wisdom, and mind. Or what we could say the mind, body, and the soul, right? Because it has to bring the three together with the two again. So you got two, two, two. What's your answer? Patiently waiting. Staying balanced. You know, and it's a balanced answer. The answer will be so balanced, but you don't want to put too much confusion. Two can cause confusion. The negative part of two is confusion, allowing yourself to say, but that's not what I wanted. Because sometimes you want to fight past your intuition. If your intuition says, no, this is a bad thing, um, but you really want something, then you could cause the confusion. So you don't want the confusion. You want the beautiful balance of the message to come through, to have the, you know, the right message. A lot of times people fight their own intuition. This is a huge thing, my friends, huge. And it's the reason is because a lot of times we have something that we want so bad, but it's not good for us. So even though your, your, your emotions are telling you, oh, I got a tummy ache that doesn't make me feel good. I know that I shouldn't do that, but I really want it. Sort of like gambling. I'm going to use gambling as an as an intu intuitive reason. People get paid. They know that they have other things they're supposed to be doing with their money, but they have some kind of habit, and they really love gambling. They know intuitively. They even say it. I shouldn't be doing this. I have this to pay. Boy, am I going to pay for it later. But they go against their own intuition, and all of a sudden they wake up, and they're saying, I don't really feel good. I kind of have a headache. I've got a little bit of a tummy ache, you know, but... But I'll be fine. I'll just, you know, I'll go to the casino and, you know, I'll have a drink. 
and you know I'll spend this money and it'll make me happy because it'll get my endorphins going so everything will be fine don't worry don't worry well that was your own body forewarning you that this is a bad idea you may not win any money you may lose it all and then you have to pay that bill so this is giving yourself the time enough to rest only then will you be able to ground yourself enough to cultivate focus and motive and have the motivation to fulfill this area so there are a lot of resting going on within intuition and it is because your mind is so going all the time you guys it's really a process of learning to open up and really tap into your true intuition right huge one okay and it's going to cause you know it, it's going to you're going to have to have the com you know the confidence the love the resilience towards yourself to be able to focus be flexible you know work diligently to get the answers those of you you know it's like you know because a lot of, a lot of times our intuition just doesn't you know and a lot of times you don't pay attention to that intuition you just think i have a tummy ache but you don't know why so the biggest thing about intuition is the signs and signals that your feelings are interacting with your physical body And your feelings as well <clears throat> you know sometimes the feelings are the you know the fear the doubt the dread the things that cause fight and flight that's a part of the feelings and the emotions right. okay so getting a couple more over here just to kind of see what's going on yes so on number one, Danky over here wants you, makes you understand in step one that you really need to look at it from a higher perspective always, right? You have to look at it from a higher perspective because you have to have the understanding of the will, wisdom, and the mind in the end. Um, and that's really going to help you really pull this together, okay? Um, perfume of Sophia is just pretty much retreat from the outside world, right? Where are you going to go meditate? Wow, these are really coming in like bam, bam, bam. This, this is crazy. God will lead the way. There you have it with the Archangel Michael. Become still and listen. What's the next card? Acknowledge the truth. And the next card. Patience is a reward. And the next card. Be the powerful presence of peace. Yes, you're bringing your, your own inner peace. And that's a very good one. Thank you. You know, that's actually wonderful because this one's telling you, give all your worries and cares to the universe because... Therefore, you can have the answers and really pay attention to the intuition that, that's at mind. Um, and that's really going to be a big one. Wow. Wow. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck makes me wonder. Helping others is also helping yourself. For the whole law, we can summed up to one command. Love thy neighbor as yourself. I, you know, and I left, love that because that just says that those of you who teach, you can take this teaching lesson if you, you know, if, if it's good enough. <laughs> And you can teach others from it. Um, wow, what a beautiful divine message from the universe. Um, and I think that this one right here is a really, really good one. And I think this one is too. Um, really, patience is its own reward because we're talking about a lot of patience um, to get to where we need to be. Um, how beautiful is that? So, okay, my friends. And that was it for you. Until next time, peace and love. And I hope that that helped you understand. Bye-bye.